many of you guys have ever been to a roller coaster? Last little secret there. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to compare my life to a roller coaster. You know, as a roller coaster, it has a lot of ups, it has a lot of downs. Some of them can be pretty fast, some of them can be pretty slow. Um, there have been moments in my life when I really enjoyed the ride, I don't want it to end. Also, there's been many moments where, you know, life hits me pretty hard and um, I kind of wanted to. Where everything feels like, um, where everything could go wrong, is going wrong, and that's what some of my life happened to me. Um, I feel like some of my training during my military career prepared me for uh, some of the obstacles that I faced. Um, one of my uh, schools that I took a lot out of, um, I'm going to let you guys know I'm afraid of heights. So I joined the everyone's school, if you guys don't know that, it's, uh, being a paratrooper. And it, it showed me a lot to uh, face your fears and to uh, be able to uh, overcome it and then be able to uh, move on. Um, when I was in the military, I also met a lot of people. Uh, it helped me uh, be very social and it helped me appreciate a lot of uh, the cultures in our, in our world pretty much. Um, also, when I was deployed, I had a lot of support from my girlfriend. Um, it was really one of my ups. Um, when I got, got back home, I went ahead and married her, and we're still, we're still married right now, very happy. Um, I had a great time in the military, but at the end of my military career, I had a rough time, you know, this is when I, my life started kind of taking a turn towards the, uh, towards the very fast downward slope. Um, at the moment in my life, right before, uh, like I want to say a month before I got out of the military, my apartment house uh, broke down. Well, not broke down, I caught on fire. Um, but it, it helped me out to uh, my training to be disciplined and get everybody out of the apartment that was there because not everybody knew that uh, a fire was going on. A month after that, I was getting ready uh, to come back to California. I had everything packed up on my U-Haul the day I was moving out. My U-Haul got stolen, half of my stuff went with it. It really sucked. <laughs> so when I thought it couldn't get worse, I got here. It was right when the recession hit. I couldn't find a job. I was looking for a job for a year. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it until the end. About a year later, I found a job, and I'm still in it. So I'm very appreciative of that. <clears throat> so when I started to give up hope that my life would not be getting any better anytime soon, you know, my, my ride, slowly started taking me back up. Um, I felt like right now, well I feel like right now my life is coming out of a dark tunnel and it's, you know, I see a bright, steady, uh, smooth ride at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm living comfortably, comfortably with, my, with my wife. I'm also, I'm also uh, focused in school, trying to get a career, you know, that's my main goal. And I also uh, want to start a family and uh, start a good career with my wife. <clears throat> In conclusion, the ride of my life chose to take me through has been very interesting. I've had a lot of cheerful moments and a lot of uh, uh, thrills, I want to say. <laughs> um, with each rise and fall of my life, you know, I feel like it's t taught me a life lesson, which is preparing me for a bigger um, Something bigger in my life, which I feel that's coming up soon. So that's it. Thank you.